have Yay. Megan Teltner here. Uh, she is a nutritionista. I'm calling you a fashionista. It I know works. people can't see it your whole outfit, <laughs> but you are as cute as a button. You've Thank got. You. Can I own, can I show her somehow? Can oh, I, I this has to do this. Before. I'm sorry, I have to show how cute you are. You are adorable. And look, I knew right away I said those are Fluvog shoes. They're Fluvog shoes. I knew that. They're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Your necklace, everything. Thanks, Jennifer. Beautiful. Okay. All right, we can get back to what we're doing. Okay. You are a nutritionista. I you had Crohn's disease, and I say had because you cured yourself through food and natural products. Yes, and retiring from advertising. So oh, this, and that too. <laughs> and like, that people too. Don't know what what good food can do for you. It's and amazing what can happen when you start to reduce the load of toxins you're taking in through your daily life, through your the food that you eat, through what you're rubbing on your skin, through the thoughts that you think even, through the people you engage with. And now you have come up with this company. You teach people how to make their own products, natural products, deodorant, toothpaste, this body butter that I have on my hands. Yes. It smells fantastic. So you're not grating cheese right now. What no, are you grating? No, this is cocoa butter. So this is like the fat from chocolate. This yeah. is what they used to make white chocolate. And it smells fantastic. It smells you, like I can eat chocolate. That too. You can eat it. So what we did was we gr we grated up some of the cocoa butter. Yes. Then we grated up some just all natural beeswax. Okay. So the more beeswax you put in, the harder your body butter will be at the end. Some all people right. like theirs creamier. Some people want it more portable that they can take with them. And so we grate those up together and then we put it in a pot to melt it. So what we've got in here, we pre-melted it mm -hmm. and we've added a bit of coconut oil. Okay. Again, edible. This is all stuff you can keep in your kitchen. You, you can, can rub it on your skin and then you can lick your fingers. Exactly. <laughs> or have someone else lick your fingers. Okay. Okay, you so we're going to <laughs> this weekend and send us pictures of breakfast television. The fun you had on the weekend. We can add a little bit of olive oil. Again, this will depend how creamy you want your body butter. We want it very creamy. Creamy. Okay, yeah. so the, and then if you want to make it smell beyond the coconut oil mm -hmm. and the chocolate, you can add your favorite essential oil. So oh. what if we put in a few drops of a lavender, a pure oh, lavender like essential lavender. oil. Mm -hmm. After it's been heated, we stir it up. And then what I like to do with mine, so it's easy to use, is I will pour it then into ice, an ice cube tray. This is such a smart idea because you have the cubes right over there. Can we get a shot of them? Right here, I went, oh, sorry, oh. I'm gonna grab this and try not to get burnt. Uh, but you take the cubes and this is this is what I used on my hands this morning. Yeah. And it, and it feels so good. It absorbs in really nicely. So why not let your body care mm. products become your medicine? when these are all antimicrobial, antifungal, soothing, they're good for children especially because you don't want to be using toxic you don't, stuff You don't think kids. about when you walk out the door how many chemicals we put on our body. Exactly. Like I put face cream, I put, I brush my teeth. Exactly. Everybody, I brush Everyone, my teeth. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy for that this morning. <laughs> but I can brush my teeth. <laughs> Everybody's happy, but you can brush your teeth with something that is all natural and you can make it yourself right. through your classes. Right, okay. okay, yes, we teach us. I have an edible beauty care class where we do a bunch of these things. Toothpaste is one of the easiest things to make. Okay. Okay. So, and toothpaste at the grand store, a lot of it has a lot of stuff in it. It's got these surfactants that get all foamy, which is what we think is cleaning, and you can use the same thing to clean your garage floor. Okay. And then <laughs> they have like artificial sweeteners. They've got all these things you really don't want in your teeth. The best thing to use is a dry brush and a good antimicrobial essential oil. You said you've been doing it for two years and you no bleeding of the gums? Nothing. Okay. No cavities, no problems. So what I'm doing, this is like a transitional toothpaste. Mm -hmm. So, because people are like what they're familiar with. So we are pouring in a little bit of vegetable glycerin just to make it as a paste texture. And we've got baking soda in here, just straight kitchen baking soda. Yeah. And, and if you want your minty freshness, use a peppermint essential oil. And peppermint is naturally antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial. Well, you keep so doing do that. all good things. And if they want to make their own toothpaste, people at, at, at work, at, at home right now that are watching, uh, you can go to megantelpner.com uh, and you can also go to breakfasttelvision.ca to get the website. And you can take your classes and we can make our own toothpaste and our own deodorant and our own bo body butter. I'm definitely taking one of your classes. Amazing. We're